All right, ladies, I'm gonna show you how to apply your 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. You're gonna have two tubes. One's gonna be the gel, and these are the fibers, and then it's gonna be a step again of the gel. So it's gel, fiber, gel. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that will help your um, mascara look better and last longer. This is our gel, and there's actually a window where you can see how much you have left. What I do is I take the wand out, I take our rose water, and I spray it directly into the tube or onto the wand. You can take contact solution and you can do the same thing. This will help loosen up that gel and make it more fresh. Um, after a while, you'll kind of notice it dries up a little bit, and that's because fibers naturally get onto the wand and then they go back into the tube. So, first step is gel, and you're gonna wanna get a good coat on your lashes, and this is just like applying regular mascara. All right, you're gonna work on one eye at a time. So now I've got those fibers. Open it up if you notice they're kind of loose on there. To make sure you don't get too much, you're gonna to want to roll it on the back of your hand like that and pack them in so that you don't get too much. You'll get just enough by doing this. And you're gonna to apply to just the ends. Don't get too close to the base of your lashes because then you'll have, you'll get it in your eye. All you need is them on the ends to extend. All right, what I do now, I'm gonna take you into my bathroom and I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do. All right, what you're gonna do with your blow dryer is you're going to, if you have one of those things that makes, that funnels the air like that, you're going to put it on the lowest setting and just like blow dry straight up. This will help your, on the lowest heat setting, so help dry and keep the um, fibers to your lashes so that none or less comes out on the wand, and it helps curl your lashes some more. You can put it on the lowest setting or the middle one, and just blow dry up, letting those fibers dry is so important to make sure that your um, mascara lasts and that you're not getting any on the wand and um, it's adhering to your lashes so most of them stay on. All right, now that we've done gel fibers, we're going back with the gel. We're sealing in those fibers. You should not have any fallout during the day of fibers and this mascara will last you all day. You don't have to reapply. If you want to make it more dramatic for the evening, you could definitely add more layers. But there's no need for freshening up. Look how amazing. All right, now I am going to add the bottom. I just use the gel on the bottom. All right, let's talk about a tool that you might wanna have on hand. It's our lash and brow comb. It's a metal comb that will help your, you separate your lashes if you need to. I don't use this often, but when I do, I love it. So you can take the comb like this and it doesn't damage or hurt your lashes. So there we go. 